I'd like to show you what is perhaps my favorite mathematical trick of all time. And by mathematical trick, I mean a bit of mathematics that is to be performed in front of a captive audience for their entertainment. This works fine for one person that you want to show a trick, uh, but it certainly works great for larger groups like classrooms or just a small gathering of people who hopefully aren't too nerdy. If they're too nerdy, then they're going to be suspicious of the trick. But unlike some tricks where I think they're pretty boring because like the whole trick is that there's a number that was fixed from the start so of course you were able to to get the number right this trick is a little bit more demanding um, not much but it's a little bit more demanding you actually have to do some math and the number is not fixed from the start you're actually figuring out the number live in the moment but the effect of the trick is to make it look like you just added 10 medium-sized numbers together pretty much instantly, which can be seriously shocking. I first read of this trick in this wonderful book, Secrets of Mental Math by the mental math magician Arthur Benjamin. Very strongly recommended if you want a great book full of mental math tricks. So I'm going to walk you through this trick, kind of talk to you as if you were the audience, and uh, give you some tips on how I've sort of performed and narrated it throughout the years. So let's get into the trick. Uh, it starts with 10 blanks. You're going to need the audience member basically to fill out 10 numbers. I like to write these blanks ahead of time for the audience member, assuming that, you know, you don't have like lined paper or something where the, the 10 blanks would be obvious, just 10 lines. I like to just write them out ahead of time. Um, that way I'm not caught off guard by how the audience member might have chosen to format it if I left it up to them. Since the audience member has a decent amount of work to do with this trick, as you'll see, um, try to make it as as easy as possible for them, right? So just do the 10 blanks yourself. I think that's a good idea. Once you've drawn the 10 blanks, you're good to go to have an audience member um, come up to your blanks and you don't want to be looking at them anymore. So you write the 10 blanks, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You got your 10 blanks. You might want to pay special attention to the seventh one. That's going to be the crux of this trick. But once you got those blanks, you don't want to look at them anymore. You want to have an audience member come up and what they're going to do, what you're going to instruct them to do is write a number in the first blank and a number in the second blank. Doesn't have to be anything special, any number you want. You as the performer might want to set some restrictions on these numbers. Um, if you want to make the trick easier for yourself, you could say a number between one and 20 in the first two blanks and just leave it at that. Or you could say any two digit number if you want to push it a little further. Or if you're brave, you could just say any number. Um, typically though, I'll say, you know, the, the audience will look for a restriction like what sort of number are we looking for? You know, I just say any two digit number um, that way pretty much guarantee you get a quick success. And uh, it also just makes everything a little more smooth. As you'll see, there's a lot of calculation that needs to be done here. So let's say I tell the audience member, you know, just put two numbers on here and maybe they put 12 and I don't know, let's say 24. So they pick their two numbers. Um, I'm not looking at these. I don't know what they are. It's critical that you don't hear any of this stuff, right? You don't know what the numbers are. Once they have their two numbers in the first two blanks, I give them the following very carefully um, worded and clear instructions. Each subsequent blank should have the sum of the previous two numbers. So this third blank is going to have the sum of the previous two numbers, which would be 36. And then you'll continue in this way. For the math folk, you know, this is a sort of Fibonacci style pattern. This next blank is 36 plus 24. So just do that. If you're performing this trick for someone or a crowd, I recommend, you know, a couple things here. One, you really want to make sure that that the instructions are clear. Each subsequent blank should be the sum of the previous two. Usually I'll give specific examples. I'll say, so the third blank should be the first number plus the second number. The fourth blank should be the second number plus the third number and so on. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Make sure you're understood because if the audience gets this wrong, um, if the participant gets these calculations wrong, you're going to get the trick wrong. It's not going to work. You want to make sure those instructions are clear and invite questions if there's any questions, make sure that they're understood. Now, it's great if you have multiple people doing this, um, like in the audience, because then you can have one person who's writing out the numbers 
I like to give that person a calculator to make sure they don't get these things wrong and invite other people to just check as they go along. You know, hey, if you got a calculator, take it out, check, make sure that this person who's writing these out is getting them correct. And again, make sure that nobody says the numbers aloud. You, you wanna make sure that you're totally ignorant of these numbers. So I'm gonna fill out the rest of these uh, blanks. In each one, I'm gonna add the previous two to get it. All right, we've got our list of 10 numbers. You gotta be patient, you know, cause this can take a little while. Once you have the list of 10 numbers, you know, the audience confirms that the list of 10 numbers is done. Uh, then you instruct them to add all 10 numbers together. Use the calculator, add up all 10 numbers, and write that down somewhere. You want them to write it down somewhere, um, otherwise you're not gonna get a good reaction when you do the trick because they're not gonna know if you are right or not. So you wanna make sure everybody knows the number you're going for, um, except you. So invite everybody to take their calculators, add up all 10 numbers. You could just keep it on your calculator. That's a good place for the audience member um, to keep it. But you wanna make sure they know the number and that you don't. So take your calculator, add up all 10 numbers, and tell me when you've done that, is what you say. And so they take their calculator and add up all 10 numbers. And um, let's just say we'll do that after the fact, just so you can see how great this trick works out. Once everybody knows the sum of these 10 numbers, this is when you announce what you're going to do. Um, at least this is how I like to do the trick. You know, I don't really explain what I'm gonna do until, um, until we're at this step. All 10 numbers have been written and they've all been added together. Then what I say is this. What I'm going to do, usually this list is like behind me or something because I'm using a whiteboard, um, but it could be on a paper or anything. J just say what you have to do to look at the numbers. I would say, what I'm going to do is turn around and look at these numbers. I'm going to memorize all 10 numbers as quickly as possible. Then I say, once I've memorized them, I'm gonna turn around and not look at them anymore. And then I'm going to add all 10 up in my head as fast as I can, straight from memory. This basically turns the trick into a sort of two for one, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna look at the numbers, whether that means you're turning around or flipping over a paper, you're gonna look at the numbers and you're gonna be done looking at the numbers in like a second or two. So it's going to appear as if you've just memorized all 10 numbers super, super fast. The reason it's gonna look like that is because the only number you actually need to know is the seventh one, 10, nine, eight, seven. We just need to know the seventh one. So when I turn around or when maybe you flip over, you know, the paper that the audience member was using, just go to the bottom number and count up 10, nine, eight, seven, double check. Make sure you don't get it wrong. 10, nine, eight, seven. All right. 252. So as soon as I see that, I would turn around, close my eyes. You know, it's clear that I'm not looking at the numbers anymore. And the audience is like, whoa, he just memorized all 10 numbers in like two seconds. That's crazy. And then the most shocking part is that you're going to go and drop the sum. You say, I got it. I got it. Here it is. And you're going to tell them the sum of all 10 numbers in the list in like another second. You could double, triple check your arithmetic in your head, make sure you get it right. Um, but you could do it very quickly. All you have to do with the seventh number is multiply it by 11. And multiplying by 11 is so easy. So as soon as I see that number, I'm turning around and pretty much instantly, I'm going to announce that the answer is 2,772 and the crowd goes wild. And we can check that here, 252 times 11, it is 2,772. Now, let's just add up all 10 numbers on the calculator and make sure that's actually correct. So there it is, I don't know if you can see that, there it is, 2,772. Just added up all 10 numbers in the calculator, I was able to do it in my head a whole lot faster. So yeah, it's a pretty incredible trick. Of course, the crux of it, as far as the work you have to do, um, I mean, the two primary challenges are making sure you instruct the audience correctly, and then two, you have to do the arithmetic correctly. Again, thankfully, multiplying by 11 is very, very easy. Um, there's a couple ways you can think of it. Firstly, you can just think of it as multiplying by 10 and multiplying by one and adding those together. So just, okay, it's 2,520, that's the times 10, and then plus 252, that's the times one. And that's pretty easy to do, um, but there's a trick to multiplying by 11 that's much easier. I'll leave a link in the description to my video going over it, but all I do is say the first digit is gonna be the first digit, and then just add adjacent digits. Two plus five is seven, 
five plus two is seven, and then the last digit is the last digit, 2,772. You could do it super, super quick. All right, before we go, we should address what's going on here. Why the heck does this trick work? Well, let's see. Um, the only variables, so, you know, some people will be like, I mean, people will be shocked. This trick gets some crazy reactions. People cannot believe it. It's pretty wild. Um, and, you know, partly because it's just a little harder to see what's going on here um, than some other mathematical tricks. But these first two numbers, of course, will totally determine this one. Some people, their first thought is, you must have known it was going to be that number from the start. And it's like, well, no, of course not, because look, it, it would have been different if you chose two different starting numbers. Let's say um, we call those two starting numbers X and Y. I'll use pink here. So if the first number is X and the second number is Y, then of course we can write the rest of these numbers in terms of X and Y. For example, 36 is going to be X plus Y. 60, this guy in the one, two, three, in the fourth blank, is x plus y plus y. In other words, it's x plus 2y. You could probably see that these coefficients are going to end up being Fibonacci numbers. Um, so this next blank is x plus 2y plus x plus y, which is 2x plus 3y. We continue in this way. I'll fill out the rest of this. So that's what all of the um, blanks would be in terms of X and Y. And then here's the magic. If you add them all up to get the total, which remember the total is the target number. If you add them all up, you actually get 55 X plus 88 Y. And what is that? Well, clearly that's 11 times the seventh number. So that's probably my favorite math trick. It's the one that I've noticed gets, uh, you know, the most crazy reactions. People are really shocked. It works for a pretty diverse range of people. Um, you know, we'll find the trick very uh, entertaining and impressive. So give it a try. Tell me how it goes for you. Make sure you practice that multiplication by 11 and uh, check out Secrets of Mental Math, the book by Arthur Benjamin uh, for some more great mental math tips and tricks. And uh, be sure to subscribe also for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet.